Okay, good morning class. Good morning, sir. So, kindly lead the prayer, Micheline. Dear God, thank you for this wonderful day. May you continue to guide us in the Amen. So, remain standing. How was your day, class? Fine, sir. Fine, sir. Okay, so who is absent today? None, sir. Wow, that's nice to hear. Keep it up. So, last meeting, we are done with our... Um, lesson, the use of nail care tools and the proper way of handling it. So, um, can you still remember the past lesson? Yes, sir. What was our lesson yesterday? Sir. Yes, did you get Sir, our lesson yesterday is all about the use of nail care tools and equipment. Exactly, very good. So, what else? Yes. Sir, yes. also on how to handle tools properly. Well said. So, can you give me an example of a uh, uh, nail care tool? So, yes, Billy Nail pusher, sir. It mm -hmm. is held in the same manner as writing with a pencil. Very good. So, who else? Can you give me another example? Go, Michelle. Sir, nail cutter. Hold clipper with cutting edge downward between Excellent. So, I have here prepared a uh, set of pictures that you are going to see. So, um, what can you say about the pictures? Sir. Go. Yes, sir. sir. Let's show off sanitizing tools. Very good. So, uh, why do you think um, it is important to uh, sanitize tools? Sir. Yes, Michelle. Sir, it is important to sanitize tools and prevent the spread of bacteria and disease. Exactly. So, uh, what do you think is our lesson for today? Sir, Sir I think our lesson for today is all about sanitate, sanitation. Of tools. Exactly. So, our lesson for today is all about the check conditions of nail care tools and equipment, sanitation, and sterilization. Okay? So, it is important to assemble, sanitize, and sterilize all the necessary items before starting any, day, any nail care activity. Sanitation is the application of measures to promote public health and prevent spread of infectious disease. So the observance of safety rules in the salon industry can be of great help in preventing accidents and injury to anyone in the salon. So what is meant by sterilization? What is sanitation? Do you have an idea class? Nah, sir. Okay, so if none, uh, um, can you read the definition of sterilization, um, Micheline? Sterilization is a process of destroying Um, Can you give an example of sterilization? Um, Uh, we sterilize tools and equipment to to destroy um fungi and bacteria. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, so that is sterilization. Moving on, we have sanitization. Is the process of destroying some, but not all microorganisms. So, um, if in sterilization, um. We kill fungi and uh, bacteria. Here in sanitization, we reduce bacteria. Okay, so that is clear. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Good. So let's move on. Sterilization and sanitation techniques, which are being practiced in the beauty salon, involve the use of physical agents like heat and radiation and chemical agents like antiseptics and vapor fumigants. So in your house, do you have um, nail care tools and equipment? Yes. Yes. So, what did you use to sterilize and sanitize your tools and equipment? 
Hot water. Very good. So, in our home, we use hot water and salts, liquid salts, to sterilize our tools and equipment. So, moving on. Disinfectant versus antisept antiseptic. Uh, so, what comes from your mind when you hear the word disinfectant and antiseptic? Anyone from the class? Okay, so if not, kindly read Micheline. A disinfectant is a substance used to promote organisms on non living surfaces such as food equipment and furniture, textures, while antiseptic is an agent that prevents the multiplication of microorganisms. Since it is milder than a disinfectant, it can be used directly on the skin. So, disinfectant is a substance used to control microorganisms on non-living surfaces such as tools, equipment, furniture, or fixtures. Um, example of disinfectant is alcohol. So, kapag kayong nasusugatan, um, ano yung unang una yung kinakain sa sugat nyo kapag? Alcohol. No, it should not be alcohol. Because it can harm your skin and your wound, okay? So, it should be antiseptic because it can be used directly on the skin, okay? So, take note of that, okay, class? Kaya mahap de yung sugat natin kapag pinapahidan natin ng alcohol, right? Yes. Kasi hindi yung alcohol ang Unang-una natin gagamitin, kundi yung mga antiseptic like um, betadine and aguaxinata, okay? Yes. Okay, so moving on. Below are the step-by-step -step preparation and procedure on how to sanitize and sterilize equipment and method implements being used in nail care services. So, preparation of method implements for sterilization, we have... And the red Michelin. <laughs> so the tools and implements in has to water solution to remove any dirty debris and oil debris and oil residue. So the first uh, the first thing we should do is to soak tools or implements in hot soapy water. Okay, remember that hot soapy water solution to remove any debris and oil residue. So, yung mga debris and oil residue ay nakukuha natin kapag natapos natin ginamit yung mga tools and equipment natin. Okay? So, rinse them thoroughly. Next one is, place the tools or implements in a 70% to 90% alcohol solution for 20 minutes. Okay? So, take note of that. 70% to 90% alcohol solution for 20 20 minutes. Okay? Do you understand class? Yes. And lastly, remove the tools implements from solution. Wipe them dry and place them into a dry sterilizer. So, why should we wipe them dry and store them? Yeah. Why should we wipe them dry? The tools and equipments that we sterilize. To prevent from rusting, right? Para hindi siya kalawangin. At para hindi mahawaan yung ibang tools na kasama niya, okay? Yes. Okay. So, we have preparation of equipment to be sanitized. Can you read, um, Julibet? Read direction on disinfectant. Of course, we should always read the... Uh, Directions, instructions so that we can use uh, um, it correctly um, and properly. Alright, so, kapag, example, kapag umiinom kayo ng mga uh, gamot, um, would you read the directions or what? Yes. Yes. So, measure and mix this infectants as you. So, it is a must to follow direction. Um, do not create your own, do not create your own because 
hindi natin alam kung anong mangyayari kapag gumawa ka ng experiment sa mga just like that, mga ano, okay. disinfectant, okay? Yes. So, next one, please read Michelin. Saturate a clinic to apply disinfectant solution and wipe and try to clean sterile application. Yes, and wipe the surface with paper towel to dry it. Yan, to prevent from rusting para hindi kalawangin, okay? And dispose of sanitizing solution and use towels. Yes, we should dispose um, our sanitizing solution properly is to prevent lalo na kung may mga bata sa bahay natin, di ba? Para hindi nila um, malar malaro ganon. Para hindi sila maano sa mga chemicals. Okay? Okay, so moving on, we have preparation of the sanitizing jar. Can we read on the event? Yes, sanitizing jar with disinfectant and wipe it dry. Place, Go on. place thin layer of sterile cotton on the bottom of jar. Remove implements from wet or dry sanitizer and place them into the jar. Handles up except for my metal made spice. Five jar with seventy percent to ninety percent alcohol solution to cover cutting edge and tips of orange wood sticks. Okay, thank you so much, Jelly Bed. So that's how we use to uh, prepare and sanitize the jar. So all deficient should maintain a high standard of personal hygiene. Wherever possible, use disposable products. Mm -hmm. Make sure that the client safety and comfort is ensured by using tools and equipments which are good in condition and that he or she is provided with the appropriate personal protective clothing. Okay? Yes. And the read the next one, Micheline. Tools and equipment are checked thoroughly to identify the sweep function and Efficiently and those which are not. Functional tools and equipment are stored safely in accordance with salonic requirements and local health regulations. Non functional or policy tools and equipment are segregated and labeled properly before for research for this. So keep in mind, class, na hindi pwede yung pagsamayan ang functional tools and ah, functional because. Non-functional tools are very mahawaan ang uh, mga functional tools. Lalo-lalo na kung may mga kalawang ito, okay? So, remember that. So, after every working session, the following should be done. Tools which are made of plastic should be kept clean and sanitized properly in preparation for the next person. Yes, so it is important to... Because... Hindi mo naman pwedeng ipagamit sa susunod yung nagamit na sa pas mong customer, okay? Yes. Finger bowls must be sanitized before use of every client. Yes, of course. Table tops and doors handles are wiped with disinfectant and the floor should be mapped with disinfectants as well to prevent from very good bacteria and diseases okay so metal tools and instruments must be sterilized following proper sterilization techniques after the process store in a dry cabinet until needed so ayun kapag natapos gamitin um huwag ikalat na lang okay so we should have a storing cabinet to Para magamit pa natin sa mga susunod at para ma-prevent natin yung mga gamit natin from rusting and from para ma-ano ng bacteria, okay? Yes. So, tools or implements which are made of porous materials such as nail files, buffers, and orange wood sticks can harbor bacteria easily. Why? Because hindi sila pwedeng sanitize, kaya... 
How after use on one person, ito tapon na sila, okay? Yes. Take note of that. Since they are wood products which cannot be sterilized, this food should not be reused, okay? Yes. Okay. So, that concludes our lesson for today. Um, do you have any questions, clarifications? No answer. Okay, if not, let's have an activity. So, for your activity, kindly um, bring out a one-half sheet of paper. Now, I want you to look and check on the different nail, nail care tools shown here on the table. Here. Shown here on the table and uh, list down the name of the tools and put a check if you think the tools is in good condition and X if you think the nail care tools are not in good condition. Okay, is that clear? Yes. It's all clear. Yes. Okay, so I have um, before we start the activity um, here is the rubric for your activity. So I will give you five minutes to finish the activity. Now go. Come in front and Okay. So, how many tools did you find um good, in good conditions? Seven. Very good. There are seven tools that are in good condition. How about are the tools in not in good conditions? Tools. Very good. So, moving on. Um. So, when do we say that um, the tools are in good condition and when do we say that the tools are not in good condition? Anyone from the class? Kailan natin masasabi na ang tools ay nasa good condition and kailan natin masasabi na ang mga tools ay hindi nasa tamang condition? Yes, you did. Sir, we can say that tools are in good condition when it has no rust and tools are in bad condition if it would, if, if, if it has rust. Very good. So, in addition, um, we can say that the tools are in good condition when it's not have cuts and some parts are, good, are functioning well. And we can say that Tools are not in good condition when um, the some parts of it are destroyed. Okay. Yes. So why is it important to uh, um, sanitize or sterilize tools and equipment before and after we use it? Yes, Micheline. Sir, it is important to sanitize and sterilize tools and equipment because it helps us to prevent diseases. Exactly. Very good. So, having a well-sanitized nail care tools and equipment um, is a good habit because you're not just taking care of your health. You're just, um, you, just, um, you can also take care of the health of your client as well. So, um, okay, so, kind um, can you answer the quest uh, five? Jenna, be clear. Let us know how you um, understand the lesson by answering the five questions here, flash on the screen. Okay, so I'll give you three minutes to answer the question. Your time starts now. Okay, so class, your time is on. Let's now check your paper, um, exchange paper with your seatmates. Okay? So for number one, what is your answer? C. Mm -hmm. 
Very good. So, it is the process of destroying or living microorganisms with sterilization. Okay? How about number two? What is your answer? B. Sanitizing. Very good. How about number three? C. C. Disinfectant. It is a substance used to control microorganisms on non-living surfaces. Yes, correct. How about number four? A. Antiseptic. Yes, great. It is an agent that prevents the multiplication of microorganisms. And lastly, A. Sanitation. Mm -hmm. Very good. It is the application of measures to promote public health and prevent the spread of infectious disease. So, um, give yourself a barangay clap. Okay, so for your assignment, I'm Jerry Michelin. Make an advanced reading of the basic preventive and corrective maintenance of military tools and equipment. So class, that would be all for today. Goodbye class. Goodbye, sir.